Strike here and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Sunflowers Recoded. Now in the previous video we beat night six and we checked out the extras. So in this video we are going to be the doing the final part of this game which is custom night max mode. Now I'm a bit scared of this because I've never actually beaten this max mode in any of the other versions. The game I did 100% though is Five Nights at Sunflowers 2 Gamma Edition. I 100% that game. But this one is definitely a lot more daunting than that game to say the least. So let's see how this goes and yeah, let's get into this. Max mode, here we go. Let's try and unlock the, four, the third password and let's see what happens. You died 40 times. <laughs> Yikes. I've died 40 times in this game. How beautiful. Can't believe that. Dur throughout my whole playthrough, I've died <laughs> that many times. That is crazy. There's no exposure in the main game. I kind of forgot about that. Jeez. I'm gonna have to switch up my gameplay again for the main night. Oh, damn. They're both in the sa same room, but I can't do anything about it. Oh, they're both there. Oh, let's go. We got the double. We got, we got a double. Cool. Oh, I feel like doing it again. You know, let's do it again. Another double. Okay, Chomper's on his way. Let's get ready for him. Okay, let's check for Sunflower. I lost her. We had two doubles that attempt. That sucks. I don't know what happened there, but I just... I lost Sunflower. Oh, well. Let's go again. You died 41 times. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the original it'd tell me how many times I've died on this max mode specifically But it seems like in this update it just tells you your total in general Unless it's still counting my deaths from the original game Which would be weird because I wiped my data so it shouldn't know about those deaths I can hear that actually in the in on the in the music I can hear the instrument playing from Baldi's Basics the, ooh, ooh. I don't know what it's called but ooh, ooh. And I forget that Sunflower is a bit different to Camera Iris, which is that she can be in any camera. Unlike Iris, who, can, who can't be in the hallway cameras, Sunflower can be anywhere in the cameras. I keep forgetting that. Well, hopefully we remember throughout this attempt so that we, you know, survive. <laughs> oh, they're both in the same camera. So I guess I get a bar down a little, but it's not much, but... I guess it brings it down a little, so that's something. Oh, hi, peace shooter. We're chill. Oh, I want to flash again, but it's too early. It'd be a waste to do it now. Oh, we still can't put in codes. That's only in the main nights from night one to five. Yeah, because you also can't put in codes night six. Okay, that was a real good. Just gonna keep keeping them away at this rate. So, yeah. I said I had them on lockdown, but I didn't. That was such a dumb idea, I could have just focused on Chomper there, and then done that. That was a throw. Died 42 times, shut up. Like, th this earlier part of the night, I don't even have to worry about panic, I don't have to worry about exposure, because there's no Iris. Only in the Iris night is there exposure, but in, but in the main night, there is an exposure, so... Yeah, uh, 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 this should be easier. I chat, 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 chat. Oh, this is a fake in the bathroom. Jeez. Let's get rid of you. Oh, I did not look. I'm dead. All right. Okay. So right now I'm having an issue where I'm trying to be very late with the flashes. Let's stop doing that. We got this. Got in trouble. Jeez, the panic is panicking. Let's just go now and then get the... Okay. That was close. I need to bring this panic down, actually. That's, uh, yikes. Do I have to worry about the QR codes appearing? You know, the ones that add half panic. I don't think I have to now, right? I mean, we've gotten rid of them already. We've already got all the pace spins, so there'll be no reason for the, a QR code to ap appear. I don't think I have to worry about that half panic appearing. Oh, that's fake. I've got the power, I've got the will, I've got the determination, I can do this. But even if we don't do it, I'm still happy with the progress because that means we only have one pace bin to unlock. Four times. Jeez. I've got to check on Chomba, so I'm dead. Whoops. Whoopsie daisies. Because I'm guessing with this night as well, if I have to, I can go for power out strats as well. Which is something I learned recently. I, 
I, I, I forgot that power outs were a thing. So if I have attempts where they're really close to where I have zero flashes left and it's near the end of the night, I can try and waste the power and just power out into the ending as you saw in my night six completion. Welcome back to Five Nights at Sunflowers. Welcome back, my audience. Well, let's get rid of you. Whoa, I took that way too close. That went to the single digits. I think that went to eight. But luckily, when you get rid of Sunflower and Chomper, they decrease your panic. But I'm pretty sure what I was saying before is correct. I don't have to worry about the QR code randomly appearing and just ruining my panic. Still got 13 left, so that's a decent amount. Hopefully it's enough. So for now, I can just save the power. Don't have to worry about much. What? What? You were that close, Chomper. Okay, right now my fails are just me just too relaxed. I'm just playing too relaxed and just sitting out of the cameras. Let me guess, you have died 45 times. Oh, 46 even. Oh, I, I miscounted. Oh gosh, am I going to reach 50 deaths in this game? Like, oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Love the be bejeweled sound. It's really nice. I like it. Anyway, I need to focus on. I've got, I've got a distraction called a phone. I need to switch that off and switch on my brain and switch on to this screen in front of my face. Okay, so who am I dealing with first? By looks of it, it's going to be Sunflower. Very much. Yeah, definitely. Got to deal with Sunflower. Okay. Let's get rid of her. Oh, I want to do it again. You know, I will. I'm flashing. I don't care. I'm flashing that camera. Oh, there's many fan games I need to come around to. Do you know what? It's been so long since I've played it in my own time, but I need to play Day Shift at Freddy's again. From the beginning to end, I need to play through that fan game series again. I have not played that game in ages. And I forget what happens. That's a f Oh, that's a fake! So hard to tell. It's so hard to tell when it's a fake or not. Okay, maybe I'm lying because my mind, my brain was telling me fake, 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 fake. But I flashed anyway because the bar was so low, but... And as it turns out, it was the fake, unfortunately. Like, my mind was screaming fake. But I decided to ignore it because I just didn't have enough time. And if we don't think we can beat the knight, I think I might nab the password off of someone, even though it's scummy. You know, it's better to unlock it myself. If unable to, if I'm unable to beat this, that this, I just don't have any other choice. Simple as that. I forgot about Chopper. This is why I don't like babbling, because I forget to focus on the game. <laughs> it's been a fun fan game to play. You know, we may have had our struggles at night, um, night four and five, but oh well, it is what it is. We were able to overcome them. That's the important thing. We were able to actually defeat the Titans, which were night four and five. So. That's the important thing at the end of the day is we defeated it. So let's go. Saw them both in the same camera, so I just thought, why not? Let's flash it. I'm just trying to think of things to talk about. I just, I don't know what to talk about. Simple as that. Damn it. I need to stop leaving Sunflower so late. Oh, wait, wait, okay. I was kidding, but thank you. I was, I was joking around, but thank you very much. Okay. Okay, that's another extra. Is that re Oh, that, there's a fake there, so that's real. Yes. Like, my mind was saying it's real, 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 but I had to make sure. Get rid of you. Oh, Sunflower was in the camera. We also dealt with Sunflower. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's Taze. Get rid of you. Oh, wait. Wait, the screen's darkening. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? What's going on? Wait, what's going on? No! No, 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 I threw it. Oh my god, I threw it. Wow, so the, the night shifts to Iris. Alright, it is the next day. Obviously, we're back with more Finance Sunflowers. And 2.2.4 released. Now, when it comes to 
max mode this doesn't really impact anything in the patch i'll throw it up right now but yeah as you can see with what the patch says it has nothing to do with max mode so do we need to download it no but let's download it anyway we may as well have the most recent version let's get into this let's get in some more attempts you died 50 times also let's see there it is that's part of the patch look at that we get the exact time of the night which is really nice because like it's something i did notice in the game is there was a little delay on the time so yeah that's good at least we know that we can look at it now so that's cool iris knight scares me i i was adjusting my microphone there so oh well whoopsie daisies and by the way i i haven't figured out code 3 yet like i tried at some point just thinking of some random words that it could possibly be but the thing is with the passcode it has to do with the context of that specific pasteman the problem is i can't log into pasteman 3 so i could not give a guess on what the password could possibly be i forgot to check again i'm distracting myself too much when we get to the iris part of the night i want to train the power a little to get ready for it it was fake i hate eyes sunflower because i can never tell the difference between the fake and the real oh version 2.2.4 made that work now the y actually takes you back into the night nice one lance let's go there's a zombie on your lawn. There's a zombie on your lawn. Okay, I need to stop getting distracted. Luckily, I haven't had to deal with the two lights combo because if you get a two lights combo, then it's pretty much over. It's Jover after that. Just get to 4 a.m. so we get into the iris cycle. Oh, I've got a double again. Okay, come on, strike. Just shut up, strike. I gotta focus up. Uh, that number's going down very quickly. It's scary. Oh my god, that number goes down so quickly. I don't know if it's me or not, but I swear that number in the iris night part of it, that co-virus, I swear that number goes down so quickly. That might just mean me, I don't know. Yeah, we won't be seeing another attack from them. I think I'm going to have to power out to win. Let's drain some power. Jocks are looking completely fine, I think. Alright, just shut up. I just gotta really focus on Cove Iris. Focus on Cove Iris, and hopefully we can do this. Maybe I should early the other Iris, the camera. Okay, I don't know what was happening with my mouse there, but it was... What, what's going on with it? Okay, it's glitching out. Let's just go now. Oh, no! He changed! Oh, I didn't expect him to change. God damn it. I didn't think he would change. I don't know why I just didn't expect him to move, though. I should have expected it. But the problem with this Iris is he moves... Well, the Cove one, he moves so quickly. So I may have to actually need a power out. I need it. No, it's not optional. I need it. Mouse? Jesus. I don't know what was going on there, but it just wouldn't go across. But Mouse! What are you doing, Mouse? Move across! I don't know what's wrong with this mouse and why he does that every now and then. We live, we love, we lie. <laughs> I'm not too sure if it's necessary, but I feel like I might need some multiple doubles for this. Or at least one, I don't know. Because I feel like having zero doubles, I might not be able to do it, but I might be wrong. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. Yeah, because the time of how quickly this is going down, it's so much slower than co-viruses 
Poviruses drop so much quicker. It's crazy. Yeah, trying to focus on this is kind of difficult when there's birds just constantly chirping. I can't really do anything about it though. Especially, especially since I decided to play this in the morning and not during the night when I could have. I could have played it during the night, but I procrastinated. And yeah, so I, got, I have to deal with this alongside the night. God damn it, it wouldn't let me click through the damn cameras. What? I was pressing the button! Oh my god, screw you. No! Why didn't it hit the button? We had two doubles again. We were gonna get into that with 11 left. God damn it. God, ah, oh, man. Ugh, I hate this night. Holy. Died 60 times. Not on this night, but just in total. I'm about to die. Can't even make it to Iris anymore. But even if I get to Iris, I'm probably just gonna die anyway because of how quickly Covirus attacks. It doesn't help that I have birds constantly chirping, which just ruins my focus. That doesn't help at all. Ah, oh, once again, it's... Actually, no, it's not too early. I can just deal with them now. There's another, another double opportunity. Alright, here we go. Hopefully, we just have to deal with them one more time. That'd be good. Okay, I just had to go... Come, Mouse, stop it. Why are you doing that? Anyway, we're getting into Iris again. Yeah. I shouldn't have to look at the cameras. Just let the panic go down. Oh, I think I drained too much power. Come on! God damn it. Bear in mind, I got two doubles there. And I was still running low on flashes. I don't know what to do. I, I, I just, I don't think I can do it. Because I don't know how quick it goes for others, but that goes so quick for me. It is crazy. He's like bringing down 200 every second, while Chompa's bringing down 100 every second, if you look. I'm gonna give this a few more attempts. Because I've been going at this for a good hour and a half. Like, I've been going at this for a decent amount. Oh, we got a double. Like, I need a lot of doubles if I'm going to beat this. I need, I'm, I'm gonna need like, kind of like my night four completion, I'm gonna need like three to four doubles. Cause I'm pretty sure, isn't that how many I got in night four? Like I got a lot of doubles to finally be able to beat it back when it was unfair. God, come on. I'm not about to get into that damn phase, I swear. I don't know if I can do this. Like I had the mental fortitude to do it for, you know, night four and five because I had the incentive of wanting to unlock the extras, but Plus, at the end of the day, this is a max mode as well. You're not 100% expected to be able to beat these anyway. You know, I did on night six, or one of my earlier videos, say, <laughs> as if this max mode's gonna stop me. Well, at this rate, it will stop me. Yeah, like at the end of the day, if I'm unable to beat max mode, that's okay. That's all right. Because it's a max mode, you're not really expected to beat max modes. Like I put in a good effort on this, but thing is, Something like I've realized along with Lance is that the least, the less frames you have when playing this game, the slower everything is, like including these attack numbers, the patience, everything slows down. All, the, all of it slows down, the panic, everything slows down on a slower FPS on this game. Because of that, weirdly, I have a disadvantage because of it, but yeah. All right, I guess I'm closing both doors. I'm, I guess I'm just gonna be losing power. That's nice. Yeah, because I've been trying to hard focus this fan game to play through it. In fact, I actually stopped recording a fan game I was actually playing through to, to play to play this update because there was a fan game called Insomnious Night that I was playing before. But yeah, I kind of dropped it to play this because I'm losing like three flashes per hour in the Iris Night. Well, more than that even. So, 
Okay, I could early flash Sunflower. I could also be patient with it and see if it transitions over first. I think it should transition over, right? Never mind, but I'm giving this one more go. This is going to be the final attempt from whether I look up a video on the passcode or not. Because I've put, I've put, I've tried. I've tried. You know, I've done a lot more attempts on this than I thought I would do. But none of these runs are coming together. They're just not. And at the same time, I don't feel as disappointed with myself. Because it's a max mode. So it's not meant to be easy. It's a max mode. It's not meant to be easy, after all. You know, there's some custom nights like Grizzlies where the max mode is easy, but... This one has been made to make sure it is not easy. And I've got to check Pirate's Cove, so this is not going to be truly the last attempt. I want a decent attempt. I want a decent attempt. Okay, how about I keep going maybe till I get one more Iris attempt. But yeah, I get, after this video I'm going to be uploading an all pace spins video. So that we can read all of the lore in one video. And then we can start theorizing and just theorizing... Okay, what could the second game be about? What is, you know, what what is the whole thing behind Iris? Because, yeah, like, there's many things we could theorize about with the whole lore. So here we go. Here's our Iris attempt. Here we go. Poke up. Still got 11 here. Strain the power a little. See, look at that. It's like 200. Yeah. We moved! Oh my god. Alright, that's it. That's it with my attempt. I've tried. I started at 50 deaths, so I put in 17 attempts. Still unsuccessful. But I'm happy with this progress in the game. I'm happy with beating up to Night 6 like the original. Like the original recoded. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm okay with it. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy in general with how far I got. Alright, well, like I said, if we're unable to beat it, we'll watch someone else beating it. And yeah, obviously not the, the gameplay itself, but just, you know, the cutscenes, seeing the code so that we can at the end of the video do the pace spin. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we're on to YouTube now and yeah. So we're on to the video. Five Nights at Sunflowers Recoded version 2.2.3 True 415 plus Garden Trouble. And this is a video uploaded by EV Gaming. So um, shout outs to you. I'll link your video and your channel in the description down below so that people can check you out, which I would highly recommend. To show, show your love and support to EV Gaming for beating both a true 415 mode and garden trouble. And thanks to them, we can check out the code and whatever it could be. And we can see what happens when you beat this mode. So they powered out and they just got the win out. Good stuff, mate. And we got the UCN stuff going on here, all right? You know what, let's skip ahead because it's just gonna be this, isn't it? And that's a lot of newspaper, all right. The end. Permanent closure. The all-new and popular Sunflowers family-friendly diner is now permanently closing. The di uh, sorry. The clones are now thrown out in a storage unit where they belong, rotten and injured. However, they stated that they were completely innocent and someone was possessing them. Is this true? No one knows. Only them. Okay, so with that context, so yeah, it is Iris controlling them, but. Still, the question is, is he actually the one that made them evil? I, I guess he is because he possessed them. The restaurant was forced to close down because of rumors, mysteries, and zombies coming in the restaurant. Oh, but, but didn't the, pink, the pink slip say that you were zombies were allowed to come into the restaurant? It said they were allowed to enter the restaurant but not work as a night guard. What? That, that just... So it's just lie on the fink slip to give sympathy to Conehead Zombie? Anyway, Conehead Zombie, the night guard, said that the plants are nightmare fuel. And thankfully, Lance was alive, but was turned into a zombie by Conehead in the hopes of reviving him. This situation was apprehended 
and Conehead returned to Zombieland. With Lance with him, along with the newspaper zombie, one of his friends gladly letting both of them stay in his own home. Furthermore, some people said that Dr. Edgar G. Zombos was the mastermind of all, the, all of this happening. He still remains in Zombieland, but Conehead and Lance declined to comment about this situation. Why? Because they're probably scared of being killed by Zombos, probably. Finally, they also commented about a demon-like entity that they managed to free from being a mere slave. No one knows about this demon's presence in the restaurant, but the mascots did comment about that entity being friendly and helpful to them. Wait, what? The mascots? What? I don't know. In the meantime, Crazy Dave, CEO of Bloom and Doom Entertainment, said that he would revive the company soon and make the restaurant more safe and family-friendly to everyone. Okay, let's go ahead then. Alright. Oh, that's part code 3. Oh, is this some more Caesar? Because it's kind of looking like the code 4. So, let's jot this down. Okay, let's uh, copy. And now let's put this into Caesar. Oh, it's called Caesar Cipher. My bad. Oh, the word is aftermath by the looks of it. Oh, that should have been a... That could have been a word that I could have guessed, but I didn't, so... Anyway, so the code is aftermath. Let's get into it. Okay, so for sadly the final time, we are in our spreadsheet to cover pastebin 3. And as you can see, we have every pastebin now, and we have every password. What a journey it's been over the past few days, playing this game. <laughs> But, finally, we're going to have all of the lore unlocked, and we can make a separate video on all the pace spins. And yeah, here we go. Aftermath. Iris's origin story, part three. Here it is. All right. Oh, these were written all the way back in August 8th. So this was done a while ago because it's September. Okay, well, let's get reading this now. Part three. A pact with darkness. Iris's gaze bore into Zombos's malevolent eyes. We love using the word malevolent, don't we? A mix of anger and trepidation. Okay, that's a word. Swirling within him. The very notion of signing a contract to further solidify his transformation filled him with a profound sense of dread. Zombos's voice oozed with satisfaction. You see, Iris... This contract will ensure your loyalty to me. It will bind your essence to my commands, and you will carry out the task I set before you. Iris's fist clenched, his voice laced with defiance. I won't be your pawn, Zombos. I won't let you control me. Zombos's laughter reverberated through the chamber. A chilling symphony of malevolence. Got that word again. Oh, but you will. You are bound by the very darkness that courses through you. The contract will be a testament to that fact. Iris's eyes blazed with anger, but a flicker of desperation also danced within him. What task do you want me to perform? Zomboss's grin twisted in a sinister sneer. You shall possess the cloned versions of plants in Crazy Dave's Sunflower's family-friendly diner. You will strike fear into the hearts of patrons and eliminate any night guards who stand in your way. So that's why Iris was afraid of night guards? What? Wait, that's the reason why you're scared of night guards? Because they, I don't know. Oh, because maybe they would uh, report to the the bosses, like the to Crazy Dave and stuff like that. I, I guess that makes sense. Because after we did get away from him, we did really call it out, so yeah. I, I, I guess it makes sense now, now that I think of it. No, 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 that, that makes sense, that makes sense. Iris's voice trembled with rage. You want me to terrorize innocent people? Zomboss's amusement seemed to grow, his eyes gleaming with malevolence. Innocent? No one is truly innocent in this world, Iris. You will be the embodiment of their fears. A creature that will haunt their nightmares. Iris's resolve wavered 
torn between his desire for revenge and his consciousness. He knew that once he signed his, this contract, there would be no turning back. The darkness would claim him fully, and Zomboss's control over him would be absolute. Is that true, though? Because it seemed like he freed himself. Because if so, this is like the biggest trickery from Zomboss trying to trick us, the player, into thinking Iris is free then. I don't know. Zomboss extended the contract towards Iris, his green widening. Sign the contract, Iris. Embrace your destiny as an agent of darkness. Iris's gaze shifted between the contract and Zomboss's malevolent visage. The weight of his decision bore down upon him, his heart racing as he contemplated his next move to be continued. Alright, we have all of the stories now, and we have the whole backstory to Iris. Who, at least with the original, because it seems like anyone can become Iris, as we've learned from the Night 6 cutscene. We learned that anyone can become Iris, if they want, if they have the gem, apparently. The original is Buckethead, who was kind of forced into this. He, he had no... No say in it. He was kind of forced to do it by Zomboss. But now this makes me question. Why didn't Iris just kill Zomboss? Couldn't he have just killed him? And you know just done whatever he wanted. As Iris. I'm, 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 I'm thinking too logically. That there's got, there has to be a story to the game. And that you can't make a story if you just kill off Zomboss. So yeah. <laughs> well I guess technically you could. But. It's much more interesting with Zomboss around. But okay, that is By Nature Sunflowers complete. That is the whole of it. That is all of By Nature Sunflowers. Now, did I beat the whole game? No, I did not. It's only thanks to EV Gamer, who I'll be linking in the description down below, that we were able to see everything at the end of the day. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, Stick around for some more fan game playthroughs and some Roblox videos. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.